It's another great weekend and of course it's time for Speed Racer. My name is Franka Hess. The weekend seems to be with much action as the Silverstone circuit is also red to for the thunderstorms that are going to be running from the car engines of the Formula 1. Coming up on the show, we bring you the full highlights of day one of the Safari Rally. Dr. Ahmed Ashraf opened doors for his 16-year-old son into rally. Silverstone awaits the thunder output from the Formula 1 cars this Sunday. Great times and a great moment, of course, the skylines are promising with a clear skyline. But of course, at Silverstone, it's unexpected that it may be a rainy and breezy day on Sunday. However, we know the team, a driver, of course, Louis Hamilton is of advantage. He is going to keep his hands close to the chest to see that the drizzles get onto the racetrack. Much traction will be needed with a new surface staffing that was laid on Silverstone. And the good news is, it's going to be happening and unfolding as Silverstone extends his contract to 2023. Opening our segment is Tip from a Star. In our Tip from a Star is the safety countdown. Can you imagine just lighting your car wheel with a refreshing bulb would make you safer on the road? Let's get to hear from the experts. innovation worries look for your safety on the road and don't drink and drive it's our call as you our fans and most so the pursuit uh, be good to the best ones who always use the roads with other motor vehicle moving machines away from there it's another great time as we wait for the next reaction into the WRC as it's a seven week break that is coming into close next on the block is the Finland WRC run that is going to be running on the weekend on 2nd to 5th of August 2019. In our bid of updates, we bring you the mid-season rundown of activities as it's unfolded in so far the season run events. And we hope the best man to win and of course we've seen many teams testing and uh, we had a chance as speed racer and micro we had a chance to have a chat down with some of your c teams that is i20 hyundai uh so of course m sport and toyota who are down in the safari to look up forward for the 2020 uh season wrc inclusion of the safari well from there we go straight into the formula one it's another great action weekend that is going to be unfolding at silverstone the good news is, the worries were that the Silverstone backyard was going to be having its last event, 2019. However, there was an extension of their contract to 2023. It was unexpected that the Silverstone, after pulling out of Formula 1, 
we could have a hosted event in the UK at the center heart of the UK uh, city. Let's get to see a little bit the meeting greetings of what is likely to unfold over tomorrow at the Silverstone uh, British Grand Prix. Newly resurfaced asphalt caught out many drivers, including man of the moment Max Verstappen, who went off on the exit of Beckett's. And the driver he beat to victory in Austria, Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, going sideways as he wrestled his car through turn four. Leclerc was annoyed with traffic late on as the field punched up. What the hell are they doing? While championship leader Lewis Hamilton ran off track on the Wellington Strait, as rain made the circuit even more slippery. Hamilton is hunting a record sixth win at Silverstone this weekend, but it was a Red Bull that topped the timings in FP1. Pierre Gasly has struggled throughout 2019, but a morale-boosting late charge saw the 23-year-old top the timings by nearly half a second from the Mercedes of Valtteri Bottas. Verstappen made it a 1-3 for Red Bull, ahead of Hamilton, the two Ferraris and the two Renaults. An impressive P9 for Alex Albon in the Toro Rosso, who put on a strong showing, along with the racing points of Sergio Perez in P12 and Lance Stroll. Second practice at Silverstone, the super-fast circuit that held the first World Championship race in 1950 and the home of the British Grand Prix for the next five years, after the track signed a new deal this week to host the race until 2024. Alex Albon had a little trouble at Brooklands, his Toro Rosso's front wing digging in and ploughing up the turf, while Charles Leclerc also went off at the tricky Turn 6. Championship leader Lewis Hamilton went wide at Beckett's, his Mercedes throwing up clouds of dust before Sebastian Vettel and Lando Norris had similar moments. Robert Kubica had a spin at the final turn, the Williams driver taking a bit too much curb at Club Corner. And Romain Grosjean's miserable day continued. Following a pit lane crash and spin in FP1, a hydraulic leak saw him spend over half of second practice in the garage. The Haas driver ending up only 18th fastest. With a quarter of an hour to go, Daniel Ricciardo's Renault power unit cut out. The Australian coasting to a stop at the circuit where he made his Formula 1 debut back in 2011. It was Valtteri Bottas who set the first sub 1 minute 27 second time of the weekend so far, with a 1 minute 26.732 to make him quickest in FP2, just under a second slower than teammate Hamilton's 2018 pole time. The defending champion finished the session P2 ahead of Leclerc and Vettel. Pierre Gasly was P5 after topping an F1 practice session for the first time in FP1, and British rookie Lando Norris impressed again with P6, confirmation of his deserving new contract at McLaren for 2020. P9 for the second successive session for Toro Rosso's Alex Albon and Sergio Perez quick enough in his racing point to make the top 10. Both Renaults were in the top 10 in first practice but struggled in FP2, with Haas and Alfa Romeo also looking like they'll have work to do in order to fight for points this weekend. Great in-depth and of course we look forward for the best team to win and many we've had uh, a week of uh, chatting who will be the next person. Red Bull were victor in the last event that is the, uh, when the Dutchman, that is none other than Max Verstappen, uh, picked up his season win 2019. Join me on set to discuss with none other than the guys who always give us in-depth rundown of activity. Formula One's milestone 1,000th Grand Prix may have been held in the Asian neon paradise that is Shanghai, China in mid-April. But another landmark event is still on the horizon, with this weekend's F1 British Grand Prix the 70th edition, and held where the sport began in May 1950, the historic Silverstone circuit. Alfa Romeo's Giuseppe Farina, the very first race winner, who led home a crushing 1-2-3 result for the Italian mark. Farina and teammates Luigi Fagioli and Reg Parnell, the only ones on the lead lap, with just 11 finishes in that inaugural race. And in the seven decades since, there's been a huge mountain of British Grand Prix magic moments for the passionate home crowd across the three legendary venues that have hosted the event, including Aintree, Brands Hatch, and of course, Silverstone, which has held it alone since 1987. 
a year of Nigel Mansell fever and his second of four British wins, his pass on Williams teammate Nelson Piquet, the stuff of legend. An awful lot of water's gone under the bridge here and a lot of world champions. Mansell's last home win in 1992 in the monstrous V10-powered FW14B, one that inspired many of his countrymen to follow in his footsteps. The drivers that I followed were, when I was sort of six to eight years old, that was the, the first few years I watched Formula One, and it was Alan Prost, Edson Senna, um, Nigel Mansell. It was, it was that era that was uh, exciting and interesting to me. Another one inspired by the giants of the 1980s and 90s was Lewis Hamilton, a true Ayrton Senna fan, whose greatest home win came in 2008 at Silverstone by more than a minute and eight seconds in wet conditions. But he had a bigger target, one he would fulfill five times. The World Championship is the, is the one I want to win. Across the three venues that have hosted the F1 British GP, three drivers have five wins apiece, with Hamilton able to become the most successful at home this year should he take victory. Oh, great, guys. It's uh, as I earlier promised you that uh, we have the in-depth discussion of the F1. And, of course, the weekend is really covered up with super action, terrific speed. I know one of my friends, who's uh, the immediate left, is going to tell me, What's going to be happening at uh, the Silverstone backyard with Ferrari being uh, the masters of straight line? And, uh, ish, ish. Uh, of course, we always spent uh, Red Bull putting up uh, their uh, last weekend is uh, top notch uh, uh, pull on uh, for the form. And of course, join me, guys, at welcome on set, my immediate right, the man, Red Bull. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, welcome back from Nairobi. Uh, thanks. Uh, I wonder who dragged away with your shirt. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, welcome, Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Uh -huh. Looking forward to an exciting British. Uh, this man has always greeted us. Uh, I'm more smarter than him today <laughs> with no branding of Red Bull. What's happened? <laughs> well, I'm surprised you guys have never shown your true colors. <laughs> <laughs> so wow. I'm waiting for you. At least I know he's red. I don't <laughs> know what color you are. Yes. I'm Tim Prince Paul. Speak the side for you. That's a good one. Uh, uh, so, uh, yes. Pedro, uh, with, yes. of course, we are. Uh, uh, starting off, uh, we've seen the history uh, that is touching on the Silverstone circuit. Yes. It has had a rich history. Yeah. And of course, Mohon boys are really uh, looked up to the earlier uh, performers on the circuit. And uh, yeah. their heads up on the field, would there be any change of uh, new wine into old guards or still some style? Yeah, well, uh, first and foremost, the British Grand Prix is very prestigious race. It's one of the three Grand Prix that has been there from the first Grand Prix. It it Monaco and Italian GP mm -hmm. so it is the home of F1 oh, sure. it is the home of F1 and it is a track that is famous for the rest the prestige and seven of the Formula One teams are based in England in that the seven of the Formula One teams now we had the excitement of Austria compared to the very very boring French GP we had yep. so <laughs> Every team, we are now at the halfway point. Every team is looking to make an impression. We have yeah. seen a resurgent Renault. Mercedes has Mercedes, done well yeah. here with taking uh, five wins from Hamilton. He has dominated on this track. Yeah. Valtteri Bottas is doing so well. And also Ferrari that had a near win in Austria are also looking to redeem themselves. So and we have a resurgent Red Bull. So right now it's too early to tell. We have only seen the results of FP1 and FP2, but so it's still too early to tell. Too hard to tell. Uh, Red Bull, yeah. uh, are we seeing you sort of uh, rewrite the history at Silverstone? Well, Silverstone's history is, for the last, okay, if we are to do the last 10, um, 10 years, Mercedes have won it five times, Red Bull three, and Ferrari two. Mm -hmm. uh, of those, of two, each, each of uh, Red Bull and, Ve and uh, Ferrari's win has been by Sebastian Vettel. Yeah. Um, Hamilton has won four, four, five, and he is yeah. gunning <coughs> of the five. The yes. other one being uh, Nico Rosberg. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Hamilton has also the fastest, has the lap record. Oh, yeah. Hamilton has won five yes. home Grand Prix. This is home, this is his home Grand yes. Prix. So, so. He's gunning for the sixth one, which might take him above um, uh, Sir Jack Stewart uh, course, and uh, Alan Prost. Uh, Prost yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he <coughs> takes another podium uh, this weekend, it will be seventh. It will be above. Uh, Ayrton Senna's Ayrton Senna six, six and yeah. that's his childhood hero. So I think uh, all the lights look to be aligned towards Hamilton. Mm -hmm. However, the track has been relayed, oh, yeah. Yeah. and we've seen a, a couple of slips here and there during FP1 and FP2. Yeah. It's a track that traditionally I would assume would would uh, would uh, 
would uh, suit uh, Ferrari because oh, of yeah. the fast and medium um, corners. Sixty percent uh, of the circuit is full throttle uh, every per lap. Yeah. So I don't know. We, we, time will tell. But it strongly, strongly, I, I would imagine that Mercedes is up there, especially Hamilton, Hamilton. and uh, and Ferrari, and then Red Bull in that order. I uh, was talking about uh, your advantage at Silverstone, yes. the mediums and uh, the streets. Uh, what would you two? What would be your take as a fan of Ferrari? Are you now having a home come home uh, merry making that is going to be a change from the usual suspects of the, the Silverstone rundown to Ferrari to dominate? Well, much as uh, Ferrari, my team has a very superior car in the straights, well, yeah. meaning that they have the opportunity to use even their DRS. But now the, the tables have been turned a bit in that uh, the previous races have had three DRS, DRS zones, and this time going to but be they are two. only going to be two. So yeah. we don't know whether that will be a disadvantage to the Ferraris. Yeah. And also they have brought some upgrades that initially they brought in French Grand Prix, even Austria. Austria. And some worked and some have not worked. Yeah. And they are still as per what Ma, Ma, Mattia Binotto, our team principal mentioned <laughs> was that. The man. <laughs> he two days earlier before this uh, said that he's not sure of Ferrari dominating on this track. Yeah. He's being managing expectations. But that sounds like a little bit of uh, a psycho play. I think, yeah. I think that's politics. It's right. just, it's just <laughs> trying, to, it's trying to manage and divert attention, attention from the poor performance of Vettel. Oh, yeah. And yes. also they are notorious uh, uh, shooting themselves in the foot in the, foot, in uh, the previous uh, uh, Austrian uh, Grand Prix. Yeah. Yeah. I think Ferrari need to come up with a clear strategy. They, they have a fast car. This is a very agile circuit. Mm. It's 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 flat out a, a circuit for for flat out racing. Uh, you don't expect any downforce on the corners because they are fast corners. So I think Binotto is just playing the the diverting. Playing hard to yeah, 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 it's it's just cycle. playing. It's yeah. just keeping his cards close to close his chest. chest. Yeah. But uh, we expect Ferrari to be very very uh, competitive. Well, as I get to begin with Pedro in the yes. next area of discussion. I want you guys to look into the in-depth of uh, uh, so far. We always never want to grade uh, the performance, the later, the, uh, the end performance, uh, as in by the practices. Yes. But of course, we've seen mm. Mercedes uh, doing a one and two. Uh, Bolt has been a little bit more quicker faster than, uh, faster Hamilton. than, than Hamilton. Yeah. And then Charles Leclerc trying up the boys and Max Verstappen of Red Bull Before. are also trying to average into the, the top runners of uh, uh, the whole uh, practice. Well, gentlemen, let's get into the short uh, uh, commercial break and come back more at that point. The Silverstone, the Thunder is going to be opening on Sunday as in the same Silverstone circuit and yet yeah. was extended for up to 2023. Yes. Uh, give it as quick, safe response and of course, this is the Speedway Sir F1 crew.